Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and on your screen you see a brand new watch coming from Sin in Frankfurt, Germany, and it is called uh, 1800 Sierra Golf Golf uh, Damascena, or in German 1800 S. GG Damas Cena and it is the first time I will do something I normally never do on this channel. I will do an unboxing video and this is the first thing you will see how the watch unboxes, how this limited edition to 100 pieces unboxes. <music> Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. This is a particular video in all senses because today I'm doing something I normally don't do because I simply don't like it. It's unboxing, but it is a special watch, a very special watch for Sin. The manufacturer located in Frankfurt in Germany and it is the very very first time that a watch manufacturer presents a watch made out of Damascus steel that's a forged steel um, that was in ancient time used to make swords and it is the first time that a watch manufacturer uses such a steel to, um, to manufacture the case the um, clasp uh, and the crown of a watch. Damascus steel, in this case, two medical steels have been forged together. They produce by when the forging process is, is done, um, it creates a special surface, a particular surface, and you will discover all these details in the video. So this is the third time that Sin presents a watch made out of a material in the watch industry. The very first time was in 1995 when Sin presented a watch in a almost unscratchable gold. It was in 2005 when Sin presented a watch made out of steel used for submarines. And now, 2021, Sin presents a watch. It's, a, it's the third time they do it. It's a world premiere, what you see here. A watch that is made out of Damascus steel. And the watch has a name. It's called in German 1800 S. Gigi Damascena. Damascena, or traduced in English 1800 S. Gigi Damascus steel. Very nice product. Uh, exclusive, limited uh, to 100 pieces and in the video you will discover the watch in all details as you can already see now it comes with a second strap you may change you have the tooling in there you have that cleaning tissue I have just been putting back in its correct <laughs> position um, you have the uh, guarantee card everything is there a magnifying glass so everything you want limited edition to 100 pieces and now let's discover the watch together the Sin Damas Cena, the limited edition to 100 pieces on my wrist, 17 centimeters is uh, my wrist. So you see it is a particular material and this excellent anti-reflective coating of uh, the sapphire crystal gives it a look as if there would be no glass at all. And what you see here on your screen, hands and index are made of out of 18 karat gold. So it is... A limited edition and always with those limited editions Sin is presenting something particular. In this case the Damascena or Damascus steel, that forged steel that gives the surface this particular look at every watch, every of it. And I've been mentioning this in the video a couple of times, every watch will be unique because the forging process and then the cutting, the milling of um, the case when it is done will always make a unique one. It is there will not be a single watch equal to the others of those 100 pieces made and you can see here in the sun when it is reflecting how it looks like and it gives that a very particular surface. It's a very particular look. You probably don't understand if you look at the first time on a wrist but you need to explain. It is a particular steel it, in this case, and it is a particular process that has been applied by Sin the very first time for producing or manufacturing a watch case, including a dial, and it is a pretty unique watch. So, limited edition, looking nice, 
and yep, here are some shots. I'm trying to turn the watch correctly in the light so you can see this a little bit when uh, the reflections come back from the dial. And I will zoom in a little bit more so we see probably a little bit more of this effect on my hand. And it's, yeah, here you see, you see that? And every, every single watch will be a unique piece if you want, because no one will be similar to the other. Let us also give it a try uh, with the brown strap that is also included in the package or in the box when you buy the limited edition of this uh, Damascena Sin or the made out of Damascus steel. You clearly see it's a different watch, still the same watch of course. You still have those reflections coming from the dial nicely here. But with the brown, maybe it looks a little bit uh, sportier, lighter, I would say, even lighter on the wrist. Because it takes a little bit, that brown strap takes away a little bit of uh, the heaviness of that black uh, strap that makes the watch yeah, looking uh, woo, a little, I would say, heavy in terms of color heavy. It's black, black, black. And yeah, I think personally that worn with the brown strap, it's a little bit, yeah, decent, more decent maybe, or it's too much black for me, honestly. So I would wear the watch with the brown. It takes away something, as I just said, of this, yeah, black, black, black look and makes it, yeah, sportier. Maybe you'll see, maybe also a little bit trendier, uh, cooler. Oh, yeah. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. Brown or black, what would be your choice? How nice can we see on this shot the wonderful structure of the forged Damascus steel. And it's not only um, the dial. If you look here, the dial is not being manufactured separately as it is normally done. The entire upper part of the case is one piece. So the basal uh, including the dial is one piece, it is machined, milled out of an entire piece of uh, forged Damascus steel and this makes or gives this dial, including the basal, this particular end, as I mentioned already before a couple of times, unique look. There will not be a second one equal to the one you see here on your screens. Funny enough uh, that just when I'm filming this, my cat Alma comes into the screen and uh, if we compare the surfaces of her and this uh, Damascus steel, just wanted to show you. So new superstar on WatchAdvisor, my cat Alma, she showed up and of course she wanted to have a snack. That's why she's a cat. So she was begging for a little snack, she got it and now she's happy and my patio door is open and yeah, I'm filming here in the bright sunlight and I, I thought this is the best way to show you the watch. So apologies, but I had to show her to you. And the shadow you see passing by is her. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the watch um, from the side and you see the structure and what I just said in the, in the pictures before. It's this part here, the upper part is uh, milled out of one piece. Also the crown is made out of the legendary Damascus steel and it is this uh, way how Sin treats the watch or manufactures it. I uh, did not mention the diameter yet, uh, 43 millimeters is the diameter of the SIN watch, the SIN Damascena and SIN uses a Silita SV300 automatic movement with a date indication, we clearly see the date uh, positioned at 6 o'clock. Uh, and uh, yeah, just underneath um, the word Damascena. Thickness of the watch is 10 millimeters and the so-called lug to lug distance is 50 millimeters. I will now try to show you this really particular material and I'm not going to film the watch in artificial light at all. I think it is the best way to show it in natural light. I don't think that the watch uh, will look good when I will use my uh, light I have in the studio. Um, 
it's too cold, I think. It's too cold. That watch definitely needs some warm light coming on it to really show its beauty. And it's only then when you will see it. Uh, again here, a little shot or another shot on the dial. So you can see the structure that appears when you are changing the angle and it's always natural sunlight, afternoon sunlight in an October coming on the watch. So perfect light for filming um, this uh, mild and still yeah, warm, warm, uh, mild and warm light. I very much like it to film watches. So this is how it looks like. Uh, now you have the reflections of the sky and this is without reflections and you can see the structure of the watch. And as I said it already on the with a uh, while doing the wrist shot, I think uh, the combination here with that warm brown leather strap is the better one than the black but this is up to you and it's always in the comment section where we're going to discuss this so let me know what you think i was not able to show you this during the wrist shot but now i think you see it also the pin buckle is made out of this legendary damascus steel i'm talking about all the time so it is really um not only the watch, not only the dial or the basal, it's the entire case, including the crown and the pin buckle. And I will turn it around so you can also see the structure on the back side. And clearly shows it's the same material both use. The case back made out of Damascus steel also features an engraving in the middle of it um, that shows uh, the individual number in our case. So in this case, it's number 000 out of 100. It says 000 von 100 in German. And yes, this is a sample that Sin sent me and also on the guarantee card. Um, the name is, is sample or in German Muster, etc. etc. So it's really um, a watch. I think it's a pre-series watch they did and I think it will be the watch that they keep in their museum in the future to yeah, um, show it to the next generations what they were able to do in the year 2021. Let me quickly once again show you the entire box and what you get if you buy one of the limited editions 100 pieces of the Damascena watch. The watch of course, the second strap, I've been exchanging those uh, from black to brown. You have the magnifying glass here. I will quickly take it out to show it to you. It's a thin magnifying glass. Here it is. Um, you do have the necessary tooling, you have a, that's the warranty card, the guarantee or warranty card, in this case you see um, the model is Muster, means sample, serial number is also sample in German Muster and sind Spezialuhren and there is yeah, a, a fictive uh, signature on it, then there will be your name of course if you turn it around. Looks like this looks a little bit like a um, platinum American Express card. Um, and you have the white cleaning tissue that is all in the box. And on top you get a brochure um, explaining you the entire watch, the story of it, showing you Lothar Schmidt, the actual owner of uh, Sin, and yeah, giving you some information about the watch that's what you get when you decide uh, for buying or to buy one of the 100 pieces of the sin uh, dama sena or the entire name sin 1800 s uh, gg so if we want to spell it it's 1800 sierra golf golf dama sena as always when you are buying a sin watch um different prices 
um, uh, yeah, show up or have to be paid when you want to buy the watch. The cheapest way is always, and I will give you all prices in US dollars, the cheapest and best way to buy it, uh, SIN watch is of course in Germany and this watch will be sold for 9,568 approximately US dollars. If you buy the watch in Great Britain, it will be sold for 11,000 220 US dollars in Asia for 11,224 US dollars and in Australia for 9,257 US dollars. So different prices and always the best way to get it is of course if you can visit SIN in Frankfurt, visit their manufacturing um, uh, facilities, uh, get a view uh, to the watchmakers etc. That will be probably the best way of getting a SIN by there and yeah it's also one of the cheapest and yeah, affordable, most affordable ways to get a SIN watch. Thank you very much for watching uh, this video about the new SIN 1800S uh, GG Damascena or 1800 Sierra Golf Golf Damascena watch as I have been able to present it to you in that video um, not filmed in the studio as I normally do that but here um, in the warm uh, sunlight of October um, let me know what you think about the material, about how the case looks, about its uniqueness in terms of that you will get all, uh, always a unique watch when you buy it. This is what I explained to you. Let me know in which combination you would want to wear the watch, brown or black strap, etc. etc. Let me know everything in the comment section and yeah, stay tuned for more to come here on Watch Advisor on YouTube. And yeah, stay safe and sound. Bye-bye.